The first thing I do is I fold my page in half so I know where the centre is and I draw a really light line down the middle. Then I'm using my ruler just to mark out where my straight line is. So if you look at most of the faces, they pretty much all have a line that goes down the middle. And then you can see I'm using my pencil to measure where my other marks are, so where my widest bits are, and then um, <clears throat> and then where my lowest point was. So then I use my line in the middle as a bit of a guide to make sure I'm going symmetrical. So I'm using a rubber quite a lot with this because I get this sort of stuff wrong all the time. Um, and I'm trying to get the angles correct and follow the shapes that are on the drawing that I'm copying. And I'm sort of mirroring each mark because I know it's symmetrical so I'm trying to do a couple of marks and then mirror them on each side and I keep using my pencil to work out where I need to be so to kind of measure it you might be able to tell what I'm drawing there um so yeah, I'm looking at all of the different angles that the lines go at. And some of the lines I do a bit longer. So like that line I just put in. I know it needs to go at that angle, but I've done it longer than it needs to be so that I can work out different shapes. And I've put it in quite nice and light. <clears throat> um, and then... I'm just going over and kind of correcting different bits. I really struggled with this eye. Um, and trying to get it symmetrical. And really looking at where things go. So there, I was trying to get to the middle of the nose. Um, the beak, I should say. Um, but I hadn't quite got it in the right place. So I went back and rubbed it out. I'm just always looking at where my lines should be, what angles they should be at, and how many I should have. So I think, have I done too many on one of the sides there? I think I have. Yep. So then I can go and correct them. And I'm constantly looking at where things are going. So now you can definitely see that I'm drawing it out. And I'm looking at where all of my lines intersect so that I know those triangles, I know where they need to go because I can see which lines they intersect with on the face. And I keep, again, I'm still marking out as I go along. So here I'm marking out, this was the hardest bit for me, I think, where my highest points of the next bit were because there's quite a lot of the owl at the bottom the sort of neck of the owl, that you um, don't have lines as reference for. So this took me a little while to get right. And I keep having to kind of check, check what I'm doing and check that I'm doing it right. But I'm constantly moving from side to side. So having the line in the middle really helped me work out where things needed to be because it is symmetrical. And once I was happy with it, I started to outline it in pen. So I'm using a fine liner, but only because I didn't have a just normal writing pen. So I normal writing pens are absolutely fine. Um, and also, you are very welcome to use a ruler. I didn't, just because I don't really like rulers. Um, I prefer sketching out <clears throat> um, and a, a sketchier line but it would look really good with a ruler if you feel more confident doing it with a ruler. When you are doing lines like this can you see that I'm using like one stroke to do my lines? I'm not using a lot of strokes like I would if I was sketching. Um, and that just means that you get a really nice smooth line with a good finish. Um, and then I filled in the eyes as well because on the picture they are black. But that is an optional 
thing for you.